Hi, this is Alex from Your Classroom Helper, and thank you so much for watching. In this video, I want to tell you about a tool that absolutely saved me when I was a beginning teacher. I felt like all of my time was being spent grading and sorting papers, and I wasn't able to spend my time on the things that I really wanted to, like creating effective lesson plans and mentoring my students. So I knew that I had to do something so that my assessments weren't taking up the bulk of my time outside of class. So I discovered Class Marker, which is a program that lets you create quizzes that your students can take online. It also grades it for you, so that's another bonus. Okay, so there are so many reasons why I love Class Marker, but let me give you my top five. First of all, it provides you with immediate feedback. So as soon as your students submit their work, you receive the score. So that way you can adjust your lessons, you can work on clearing up any miscommunications or misconceptions your students might have. Um, and additionally, they receive their feedback as well as soon as they submit that assignment. Secondly, it grades the quizzes for you and it saves the scores. So not only do you not have to go through and grade all of these quizzes individually, but it also provides you with a grade book backup. Third, the grades are editable, and this is a really great feature. Um, for example, if your student is sick or if you think they deserve to get partial credit on something, you're able to go back and look at the question and adjust the score accordingly, and that is the score that it's gonna save for you. Fourth, you're able to schedule a start and end time for your quiz. So I absolutely love this because I was struggling with making sure that my students were turning in their work on time and that I only had one pile that I needed to sort through for each assignment because sometimes when my students would hand in late work, it would just get shoved to the side and it would take me forever to get to it. It was very unorganized. So. Everything is in one spot and all the students know exactly when that work must be submitted because anytime after that time I set, they won't be able to access it anymore. And finally, once you create these questions, it gets saved in your library so you can use it for multiple classes or in multiple years. So you just have to do the work once and you can come back and use it year after year. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through when you register for it for the very first time um, and I'm going to show you how to create your classes and how to give your tests using class marker. Okay, so we're going to go to www.classmarker.com to get started. First time you use class marker, you're going to go ahead and register for free. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just the functions you can use with a free account. So you can go ahead and select that. When your students register, they'll use the test takers option, but as teachers, you're going to use this administrator's education link. All right, and this is where you're gonna go ahead and fill out your information and register. After you log in or register, you're going to come to this dashboard page. This is your main screen. On the upper right hand corner, you'll see the option for making tests. These are your assessments and then groups are your different classes. This links option is only available for the paid version. So I'm not going to show you that right now. Okay, so I want to go ahead and create my class. So I'm gonna select the groups icon. You can see it down here as well as up here. It, it brings you to the same thing. So I select my groups. I'm going to add a new group and call it demo. If you have multiple sections of the same class, I would recommend creating multiple groups. Um, that way your scores are kept organized and in the same spot, and it's easier to see which classes have answered specific questions and which ones haven't. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my group. Okay, so from here, you can go ahead and add the students to these groups. There are two different ways you can do that. I'm gonna select the add members option. You could either enter the members yourself or have the students enter themselves over here. I typically have the students do it, but I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and enter your students in. The one thing that makes this challenging is that as the instructor, you need to create a password and it does need to contain a letter, a number, and a special character. So I find that my students usually forget the password I assign to them, even if I think it's easy to remember, which is why 
why just have them do it themselves. So this is an option, or if you want your students to do it themselves, you're gonna give them one of these registration codes. Okay, so this option is for how many students you have. Let's say I have 10 students in my class. I want to get 10 registration codes. So I'm gonna add my registration codes and then select that green button to get a list of those. So here are 10 registration codes. Each of these are unique and must be assigned to an ind individual student. At the beginning of the year, I like to just have a chart with a student's name and this code. They just have to enter it one time and after that, they need to remember their username and their password. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this very first code and show you what it looks like when the student registers for it themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out of this teacher account. I'm back to that main class marker page. I'm going to go ahead and register for free. Now I'm registering as a student, so I'm going to select the test takers option, and I'm going to enter my registration code here. One of the really nice things about this program is your students don't have to have an email address, which is great if your school doesn't give your students email addresses. And the backup email is always the instructor's email. So if your students forget their password, you can still reset their password. Um, it'll send them an email or you can just do it on your computer. So you don't have to worry about your students forgetting their password and then not having access to their account anymore. I created my demo student and now I'm going to register. So this is the dashboard that your students will come to. If they have a test that has been assigned that is active, it's gonna show up right here on this front page. So you don't have to worry about them not being able to find that assessment. All right, so I'm gonna log out of this, log back into the teacher account and show you how to make a test. Back on my teacher account, you can see here is my group. Now I'm gonna create my very first test. So you can select this option here or the test icon at the top. I'm gonna to create a new test. I will call it demo test and start adding my questions. There are two different options. The fixed question option assigns all the questions to all the students. This is the one that I typically do. If you want to randomize who gets which question, you can select the random questions option, but I typically use this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new fixed question. You have lots of different options. So you have a multiple choice option, and that will be the first question that I'm going to write. You also have true and false, show you that one so you have the true or false you can select the correct answer so it'll auto grade it for you matching that will be the second question that i create you have your matching pairs there you can also do a free text so this would be a short answer type of question grammar which i have not used before but it looks like a good option if you're an english teacher and then a longer response essay option and that just gives your students a larger block to write their text. All right, so I'm gonna go back to multiple choice and write my first question. What color is grass? All right, so I'm gonna select A as the right answer. I'm gonna put green here. And then some other options, blue, purple and I'll do one more okay um, you always want to go to the bottom and save the question or else it won't be saved so always scroll down um, you can set the different points and then here's another option where you can randomize these multiple choice answers and so each student may have a different order of these multiple choice answers go ahead and save that and I'm going to add my next question. Let's do matching. So match the options below. Add the following numbers um, and we can match them to the correct answer. All right, so for clue A, one plus one, one plus two, and I'll do one more, one plus three. 
Okay. Um, so it already has it set that this is the correct answer to this one. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and save. Okay, so I have my two questions. You can add as many as you want, but I have my two fixed questions up here. And now I'm going to assign it. So I'm going to go back to my test. And I'm going to select this orange assign button. You can't change the settings until after you assign it. I don't completely understand that rule, but that's how it is. So we're going to go ahead and assign these questions. I'm going to assign it to the group that I created, my demo group. And once again, I don't have any preset settings yet, but if you create settings that you like, you can just go ahead and select that as your preset. And now I'm to my settings page. So there are so many settings and things that you can customize, even with a free version to really meet the needs of your students and your class. This first option, availability, I love. So you can have it set as being available all the time. I like to select the unavailable until a certain time. So I can have it, I can work ahead and then have it assigned to my students on a specific day, like Monday morning. And then I can have it due Friday morning before school starts. So after this time, the test is no longer available. So students know as soon as they open that test that this is the time it's due and they cannot finish it at 8.01. <laughs> it is due at eight o'clock. And since it's not you, it's the computer, for some reason, they're much more likely to submit their homework in on time. So let me show you this attempts option. You can have them attempt it one time or multiple times. I typically do unlimited times since I don't give them feedback back until they submit it. Then I have the introduction. So this tells your students the settings as soon as they open that test to let them know if they can come back to it, if they can only take it once, if there's a time limit and when it's due. You can set a time limit if you want of a certain number of minutes. You can let them come back to it after they've saved it, or you can require that they take it in just one sitting. This display, I love maximizing the questions per page because you can actually print them out like a handout. And I love to do this for students who might not have great internet connection or their parents might not want them to do their homework online or for my sports teams. if there's a sports game and they know that they're not gonna get home till really late, but they have two more questions they need to finish. I'm able to go ahead and print those off for them so they don't have the excuse of not being able to do it when they get home. The randomize randomizes the questions, the question order, and then you can change whether those answers are mandatory or not. Most of these at the bottom are for paid accounts only. So you can see, um, you can let them see their score and if they get questions correct or not. But in terms of really specific feedback, that is only for the paid versions. So I'm gonna save this as my default settings and assign it. There's one thing I'm gonna change really quick so you can see what that looks like immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and make this test available so my demo student can take it right now so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna sign out of this teacher account back to my demo student account and let you see what it looks like from your student's perspective. I've logged in as my demo student and you can see this test has come right on up as an available test. I have unlimited attempts and I'm gonna go ahead and start that. So here are the instructions. They give me all the details and I'm gonna go ahead and start. So let's say I fill this out and they have to submit it by pushing it, pushing finishing now and confirming that and that will send their quiz in so immediately they can see which answers they got correct and which ones they got incorrect back on the teacher page I can look at the results of that test and I can see how long each student spent on it, which is really helpful if you have a student that's struggling but not spending the time that they need to. And I can also adjust their answer. So for example, if the student should have gotten more points on here, I can manually edit it here and save it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.